All right, good afternoon. Today is uh, a lovely Friday morning here in Aquaibon State, somewhere in Eket, precisely. Now, um, like I said, we don't always do the big projects only. We also do small projects for people who are willing to start small. Now, the main reason why I brought up this video is because of the young school leavers, especially those who are just graduating and don't have what to do and are just sitting at home. This is a very good venture you can start off with. I myself is a young graduate, though I left school a good number of years ago, but I still consider myself a, a young graduate, a young man who is starting life. So we can start this life together. Let's get ourselves busy doing something, something that gives you a sense of responsibility instead of just staying at home bored and all of that. So. Uh, you can see behind me now, these are snow pens. They are well-constructed uh, wooden pens. So this is what it looks like. We have about nine pens, but in this garage, we have four here because when you have pens like this that don't have shade, you have to look for a shady environment to put them in to prevent them from the rain and direct sunlight. So this is the garage usually where one should park his car, but this man has decided to put it to a better use. The car can be parked anywhere within the compound. It's not compulsory, must be inside the garage. So uh, these are wooden pens. I'm actually doing the soil treatment and the introduction of the soil right now, but at some point I'm going to make another video when I stop this uh, little facility. So like I said, it's mainly for students and also young school leavers. So these are what the pens look like. It's just two boards of wood and uh, an, ele an elevation from the ground to prevent ants from invading it. So uh, they've gone to brought, uh, they've gone to bring the uh, stands where we'll be putting these foot. It's not going to be standing on the ground like this because ants can easily climb from it. So we are going to put it inside cups with condemned engine oils inside. So this is what the inside looks like. The dimensions are the same with what we do for our snow fence with the concrete fence. The width and the length is 2.5 by 5 feet. Now if you look down now, you may want to wonder how water will drain out of this. These are wood, so in every crossing we have spaces in between. So when the soil is brought in and when you do your normal watering, you discover that the water drains out gently. And these are strong woods. You don't use soft wood to do something like this. They are very strong woods. So this can carry you for two, three years. And before then, you must have outgrown it already. So it's just a start. So you can see when you cover it, it laps very beautifully. And we have our Boko Haram or wire mesh at the top and the mosquito net attached to it. So you can see it's well secured from even reptiles and other form of predators like cockroaches and lizards that may want to attack your snows. So we have lots of them inside. Now we started introducing the soil into these ones already. Now we just finished treating the soil, so the soils are inside here. Come and let them see the soil, what it looks like. So these are our humor soil. You can see the fine texture of the soil. We've not even watered it yet. So all you have to do is bring in your soil, the normal depth, 4 inches, 6 inches height from the base of the wooden pen and you're ready to start your snow farm. We're going to be stocking this farm with 200 snows. As you can see, we have four pens here. We'll have 50, 50 in each pen. So we'll be stocking with 400 and at some point I'm going to take you inside to see the other pens that are not ready for stocking yet because we just have to stock with 200 pens and which only requires four pens. So you can get at least 10 of these. Keep it within your backyard or somewhere. And in the evening, the cool of the evening, you go there, you feed your snails, and you see them do their thing in the night. So it gives you some form of responsibility instead of just staying at home. And that's where you might not know where the opportunity comes from. Someone might visit you and see what you're doing and come to like it and want to help you to grow from there. Or even ask you to come and construct it for them. So it's something you can do as a student you don't have to be it's not something that has to do with sex that i mean male or female 
You can be a male, you can be a female. All you need to do is get a carpenter to do this and you start up a snow farm. If you want to get information about how to go about the farming and you don't know anything about it, you can give me a call. A student, I have prizes for students as well. Of course, like I said, I still consider myself a student and a young graduate. So I have a book that I've just published as well. It's also in one of my videos on my YouTube channel. So I can send you the book at a uh, subsidized price, of course, and we can as well all start together and we don't have to keep calling for government jobs because me, of all the years I've graduated, I've never taken my CV anywhere to look for a job, but rather jobs come looking for me. So you can do the same as well. Okay, to reach me, the number is plus 2348068. Five two five zero three two. I'll take that again. Plus two three four eight zero six eight five two five zero three two. God bless you and God bless the Nigerian youth. Bye bye.